when a person starts thinking and living that suppression is my center, sadness is my center, fear is my center, every one hour changing the center, morning 6 a.m. one center, 7 a.m. another center. That is what you call mood, you know. You call mood, I am discussing in terms of center. Jumping from one center to another, jumping from one center to another from morning till you go to the bed. More than on the jumping of the monkey, more <laughs> jumping, thinking that that's my center. Watch the people when they are in anger. For about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, they are in anger. They think that is their center. <laughs> At the time of anger. After 30 minutes, maybe one hour, they shift from that center to another center, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> from anger to laugh. Or crying. <laughs> or dancing. <laughs> or singing. Changing. Many centers per day. In a single person. Mood changing, center changing. Are they the real centers we have to examine? If they are not my centers, then what is my center? When the moods are changing from one to another, one to another, another, another to another, another to another, there is a space between two moods. There is a space between two moods. Have you watched it or not? For example, a mood of excitement. <laughs> Shifting from the mood of excitement to another mood of depression, for example. Two moods now, excitement and depression. You watch clearly, there is a space between the excitement and depression. Depressive mood. Mood of excitement and mood of depression. There is a small hairline gap. You are not suddenly, suddenly moving from one mood to another. There is a minute space. But normally we don't watch it, that's a problem. We are aware of the excitement, we are aware of the depression. We are not aware of the space between the two. That's a problem. Now I can easily define Tantra. Tantra is insisting to aware of the gap between the two modes. Now you tell me, Tantra is sex or something more? That's not that. Tantra also says, 
not only aware of the gap between two excitements or two different polar mood changing, also aware of the two poles. What a beautiful complete path. First it is giving an clue for you to watch, you are not watching it. You are aware of the excitement or depression, you are not aware in between. Now you are aware in between two, that is the first recommendation. Don't jump. Suppose you jump from there, you are concentrating here and there, what about in between? What about the middle? Normally we don't watch the middle. We, we either we, we concentrate on A and B. We know only A and B. What is in between A and B? We don't care. There is always in between. The other is not formed immediately without your space. Uh, waking and see, actually, during the introduction, she said that waking up, awakening, what is awakening? You are awakened with the excitement, you are awakened with depression, you are not awakened in between. You are sleeping in between. It is like you are you are you are awake when the when one signal is coming, and you are awake when the second signal. You are sleeping in between. What will happen? Accident. When somebody is sleeping in between the two feelings, two sensations, two different modes, one is missing life. Mm -hmm.